What is up guys, Stardom Central here, and welcome to a new video. And first off, I'd like to say I haven't uploaded in quite a while, but I'm going to be doing lots of tutorials like these, and um, videos like these about how to get more FPS and stuff, and just tutorials in general on my channel. I think that's really cool, and I like doing it. So let's get started. For this video, we're going to be doing how to get more FPS on a Mac. So as you guys, as you guys can see, this is what I have. Uh, MacBook Air 11 inch, early 2015. Here's the processor, here's the memory, here's the graphics card. Got a ton of storage left and stuff. So here we're on our Minecraft. We have uh, like the default video settings, I believe. And so let's hop onto a server. And as you guys can see, we're only getting about 35 frames. 35. So for one of my trip. Oh, now it's going up. It's because we're not moving or anything. But one thing that I um, recommend doing is playing in full screen. So if we go in full screen right here, see how it's staying at like a constant rate of 50 like, 50 like that? Playing in full screen actually does help you. I know lots of people don't like playing in full screen because you have to tab out every time you want to do something else. It kind of sucks, but it's a good thing to do. So next off, uh, we're going to log out the Minecraft. And what you're going to want to do is download something called Optifine. So let's go on Optifine. So you're going to want to go on Optifine.net. I'm going to link all you guys, I'm going to link you guys, um, all these links that I'm going to be using in this tutorial. So I'm going to link this website in the description. So let's head on to downloads. And the version, whatever version that you have, you must run it at least once. So let's just say I want to download an Optifine 1.10. You have to play at least one time on that version, so download all the files for that version. For this, I was just on 1.8.9, so I'm going to download the 1.8.9 file. So it's going to direct you to an AdFly link, and there might be some like sketchy links and stuff, we don't want to pay attention to that. You just want to pay attention to the top right corner where it says please wait, wait the 5 seconds, and it'll lead you to this, and you just want to click download, and you've downloaded the file, you want to put it there, or just on your desktop or anywhere. What you want to do from there is right click open. It should direct you to this and you want to click open after that. A pop up will come saying Optifine HD Ultra for Minecraft 1.8.9. What you're going to want to do is click install and it says Optifine is successfully installed. So what you want to do is go back onto your Minecraft launcher. You can quit out of this now. What you're going to want to do is, oh, so funny. Alright, what you're going to want to do is click add new. If you scroll down, the Optifine that you just downloaded should be there. So, let's use it. Optifine 1.8.9. So, using Optifine gives you more settings where you can change your video settings than the normal vanilla Minecraft. On normal Minecraft, you have limited options that you can change, but on Optifine, it can extend it. And all servers do allow Optifine. So, let's go back on this server. And, as you guys can see, we're getting about... Same as we were getting last time. So what you're going to want to do is locate to your video settings, options, video settings, and as you guys can see, you can access all of these. So what you're going to want to do is turn your graphics to fast. As you can see, that's already an FPS boost since of what it was last time. You're going to want to turn alternate blocks off. And f let's go to the sh uh, let's go to the details. If there's not a setting for um, fat, if, if there's not a setting for off, go to fast. So we're going to go on fast for all of these. This doesn't affect your gameplay, uh, so I suggest you just keep this one on. Held item tooltips. So let's go, let's, whoops. Let's go to animations. You just want to click this all off button, but then turn the particles to decrease. And as you guys can see in top left corner, we're already having a better frame rate. Than we were before. So you want to turn all these off. Then again, you can customize these the way that you want. So you do like a little bit more than you would if you had them all off. So as you click custom items and I believe connected uh, textures, it will like lag your game a little bit just changing them. But um, as you can see, we're already having a major FPS boost. So let's go under we just went under quality. We just went under that. You're gonna want to go on performance. All right. So just at a f first glance, you're already running 90 FPS. Uh, yeah, averaging 90 FPS, and before we were getting about 40. So this is just like a small, 
small like FPS boost. And one thing I'd like to do, we're gonna hop into creative real quick. And uh hop into creative real quick and go to a plot world. As you can see, if you're in like an empty space where there's not much stuff around you, as you can see, there's just this big block. There are there is stuff around me actually, indeed. But let's mine to the very bottom. I'm just giving this an example. So tip: if you guys ever are lagging and you don't want to lag anymore, going down where there's not much stuff above you, etc. Let's just see this. I'm gonna turn my brightness up real quick so I can turn my brightness up. Let's get a torch. As you guys can see, I'm running 116 and well, back down to 90, but it's going to go all the way back up. But um, I'm getting about 120 right now, 140 actually. Um, and yeah, that's what my uh, FPS is. So it's been a major boost since that 35 to like 45 FPS without any changes in Optifine. So Optifine really is a big factor in helping you. But um, also, like, going underground, I know this isn't related, this can't really help you, but it's just some tips, let's just say you're lagging in a game, you're trying to get away from a mob or, or some sort. Going underground will bring up your frame rate, and also going to the end will bring up your frame rate, which is actually something really cool. Um, I can't really show that because I'm in creative right now, but bring, going to the end will bring up your frame rate. So, yeah, guys, that's really it. Um, let's go to a single player world real quick and see what it's like. So yeah, so these are just some really basic tips. One, all you have to really down is the Optifine, and you can download anything you want. And this, I'm showing you guys a demonstration of 1.8.9, which is cool. Um, and what I'm going to be showing you guys for uh, tomorrow is, uh, let's see. Being about 60, so rendering chunks from the world. My mouse is a bit glitchy right now. So as you guys can see, still, the frame rate is still being higher, and um, one thing I want to say is, this isn't what you're going to be getting, you're actually going to be getting higher than this, it's because I'm recording right now, which is um, a factor of why my FPS is going to be a bit lower than when you guys do this yourselves, because I'm recording, which, it does decrease the frame rate when you record, when if you're recording a video of some sort, and there's actually one thing I want to turn back on, I believe it is under, where is it? Dynamic. Uh, there's something like see, I'm sprinting, but like it doesn't like go into a thing. I might have turned something off. Uh, let me find it real quick. Dynamic FOV. Yeah, you're gonna watch. I like dynamic FOV because you can see it's running a bit more. It doesn't really affect that. You can turn that back on, as well as hand item, uh, handheld item tooltips. Those uh, help you. Well, those don't do anything to your FPS. They're actually better if you just have them on. As you can see, my frame rate's already getting better. Like that. And well, I, like I already said a uh, couple times, I'm recording right now, which is the reason that it's going to be a bit lower. I'm going to say that you guys are going to get about 180 if you guys are mining in a cave or just anywhere else. I'm going to say you guys are going to get about one, like 115 as it is right now. So, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. And uh, hopefully you guys can learn something from these tips. Um, and everything's going to be in the description for you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, have fun.